Today's a reason for living Today's the blood from a stone Today's the light from a candle Helping us to find our way home Well hello everybody, it's Rose again and today I'm going to do an unboxing. It's only, I would say tangentially related to diamond painting, but it's one of my, what I consider tools and accessories. So forgive me. So this is, as you see from Amazon, and it's a, tripod for my phone because, because the tripod that I'm using right now, which I bought from Amazon, I don't know, Wednesday or something like that, is um, woefully inadequate to the purpose that I need. Um, I'll insert a picture of of how I have to MacGyver the thing so that it will actually um, angle in a way that makes it possible to see what I'm working on. Okay, so here's the box. It's called a cleaner with a K. Telescopic tripod. Easy clamp for foam. Ooh, look. Here's the easy clamp for foam. Broken! Okay, that does not instill great confidence in me. Hmm. That sucks big time. Okay. No idea what that is. stand. Okay, there's a tripod foot and pole, a flexible tube, I guess that would be this, and the phone clamp, which is this. <laughs> See where that's broken off? Not great to start off with. All right, let's see. Um, phone clamp installation. Only step two. Easy to install. Mm, yeah, no. Um, I don't know if it's worth actually going through with the rest of it. Um, what I might do is just contact Amazon and ask them to send me... Oh, this actually looks pretty sturdy. Okay. All right, so this is what comes out of the package. It's uh, really quite sturdy. Look at that. Wait a minute. What the heck? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, that's not even touching the floor. Okay, so, all right, it goes up pretty high. And then with the little clampy thing, or the, the um, flexible tubing. All right, that's pretty good. So I'm putting it on my floor and it's not as tall as I would have liked, quite honestly. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Hold on, let's see. I think it might be okay. Oh, wait a minute, there's another clamp. There's another clamp. Huh. Well, how cool is that, people? How cool is that? All right, uh, I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here. Um, hmm. I think that goes on there like that. I 
guess you've got to screw it the right way. Huh. You get to see all my junk pile of Amazon boxes and diamond painting boxes and foam cores and stuff like that in the background there. Okay, so let's see. So I guess the foam is supposed to fit in here. Oh, that'll hold my phone. And then, oh, that'll hold my phone. But how does it stay on there? Hmm, we'll see. All right, so what is this one for? Is it the same? Is it the same? No, one's bigger than the other. Okay, so I do have to, I do have to order or get the replacement thing here, uh, the holder. But, um, but I'm kind of liking this baby. That's, yeah, I think that would be all right. I think that would be all right. I'm going to test it. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a, a quick grow with me. Um, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. But, you know, it, 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 it allows bending and, well, I'm wearing black so you can't actually see it. But it allows bending in all directions and stuff. So, huh. I think this will do. Oh, look, it gets higher. <gasps> okay, I love it. I officially love it. This is what I need, people. This is what I need. I can actually, okay, you can't see, but I mean, look how long this thing is. I think it says it's 60 inches. That's long. Um, but, whoops, okay, I gotta figure out how to make that stay. I should read the instructions. Um, I always read instructions. Before I bought my freaking car, I had read the owner's manual online. Back to front, no, front to back. Back to front would just have been weird. Um, front to back, I read it twice before I decided to buy the car. So I'm just not one of those people who doesn't. Um, oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Okay. Um, I'm just not one of those people who doesn't read instructions. I just, I just don't do that. I read instructions because that's how you know your tools. All right, let's try this again. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it though. <gasps> no, I didn't. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's screw that on again. Oh shoot, you're not seeing any of this. on there. No, it still comes off pretty easily. What am I doing wrong? Oh, maybe. oh it's the, I see what's wrong. Okay. It's not me that's wrong this time. It's the fact that there's two pieces that are broken. Okay. So this piece here, it actually looks like it's meant to have that break there. But the second piece that goes with the larger phone clip does not have a break. So let's try this again, my friends. Okay. Because I would hate for my phone to fall off, especially if I've got like hundreds of diamonds in a tray directly underneath it. Okay, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. But um, I do want to get the second clip because this one here is kaput, kaput. All right, I like the rest of it though. It was thirty-two ninety-nine Canadian on Amazon. Um, it uh, it uh, is adjustable for height. I'll do a little drill with me. I, I will do a little drill with me in a few minutes and see how that goes. All right. Well, thanks very much. That's the end of part one. Part two coming up.
I am um, ready to be working on this part of the canvas now. I've finished the nine inches on this side, on the left, and I'm moving towards the right now and working, um, working my way down the canvas. Um, this area in here, I'm going to be using my magnifying glass because this area in here is made up of E's and the Euro sign. So I'm not sure if you can see it and I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up if I try to show you, but um, essentially, oops, Hold on. I need to put the light on here. Sorry for the noise. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm very bad at working backwards. I don't know if that's going to focus very well. But there's the E. There's the Euro on top. Um, they look different here, but they're almost the same color of reds um, almost the same color and uh, they look very similar on the canvas so I need my microscope so I've started when I'm starting checkerboards uh, from one side I generally start uh, from the bottom right and work my way up um, just because well that's a way to, as much as possible, prevent my hand from touching the wax, uh, or rather the adhesive, and making a mess. Okay, so I'm using my new tripod, and it works really well. I'm actually having more trouble using my phone camera than anything else because, as I mentioned before, this is only the third video of myself that I've ever shot and now I'm trying to shoot not actually me but something that's not in my field of vision like without seeing what the camera is seeing so again it's it's um, well it's not the hardest thing I've ever done in my life but uh, I ain't good at it to start with let's just put it that way okay so uh, so yeah I'll be doing this for a little while um, The tripod works great. Um, I heard back from Amazon. I wrote to Amazon, and they uh, they said the best thing to do is get in touch with the seller. So they gave me the contact information, and I'll do that. And hopefully they'll send me the uh, clip to replace the broken one. So that'll be good. And if not, then I'll just put in a request for a an exchange from Amazon because I, I do like the product anyway um, yeah so this is coming along nicely I got quite a bit done today I got a whole uh, 3 by 12 uh, 36 square inches done starting on the next 36 square inches and uh, I won't get that much done tonight, just simply because I want to um, do some other things. I'd actually shot about, I don't know, 45 minutes of me drilling the other side, um, but realized that I had shot it portrait instead of landscape. So that was annoying. Um, and I don't want to repeat everything I said, so I think I'm going to make this fairly short and um, just talk about the drilling. So um, I'm using the tweezers because I find them to be the best for just overall control while I'm drilling. and. Uh, I can place the diamonds very, very well. But, as I learned from Natalia, it's actually uh, easier to fill in the checkerboard after I've laid out 
uh, this pattern, it's easier to fill it out with the regular drill pen. So I will be switching to the regular drill pen um, in a little while to just just so that I can uh, fill this in more quickly and without the risk of scratching drills because when you're trying to use the tweezers to fit in between drills uh, when there's four drills on a side for example uh, that's a bit of a challenge sometimes and then to put the drill down push the drill down you have to press on it with the tweezers and so there's just that risk covering euros with ease okay let me undo no that's good um yeah so so there's that and these tweezers are uh, a set of huacan tweezers anybody who's ordered from huacan uh, i guess you can't see but anyway um they're the they're good quality um when i got them they were super super needle nosed and that was fine except that because i hold my drills so tightly i actually broke off a, t a piece of the tip of these tweezers so then I got my knife wet stone, like the wetting stone for my knife, uh, which I never use to sharpen knives because I have um, some knives that come with a sharpener and, and they've been fantastic, so I've never had to use the wet stone. But anyway, I used the wet stone to create um, new sharp edges and uh, not sharp, but very pointed edges and um, they're even in length. Uh, so anyway, so I can keep on using these tweezers. And I actually like this because the part of the tweezers that are touching the drills is not as narrow, like the one that came with, it was almost like a fine wire. It was so thin at the tip. So I actually like having a little bit more substance to the tweezers. Um, and so this is this works for me. Um, I've got a few more sets of these, which is good because they're great. Uh, but uh, I'll just keep using these until, uh, until I wreck them completely or until, you know, they're just not comfortable anymore. So yeah, so there's that. So I had a good, good weekend this weekend. I saw a girlfriend last night and we went out for dinner, had a lovely dinner. I had the best dessert that I can remember having for a very long time. Now that might be because I've been on a diet and so I've been um, skipping desserts for, I don't know, the last five or six months, well, five months maybe. Um, but uh, but I think it was objectively one of the best dessert. Well, I guess it's subjective because it's my opinion. Um, best desserts I ever had. It was a caramel pecan cheesecake, uh, homemade at the restaurant that we ate at. And um, that was just the crowning glory on what was a fantastic dinner. I had dirty rice for the first time and it was uh, this rice with a tomato base with chorizo and chicken and oh my goodness it was good it was so 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 good um so yeah so it was a great dinner and i was happy to be enjoying it with a good good friend and then today my little sister and I uh, spent a couple of hours watching Netflix. Uh, she doesn't live here. Um, she lives about 600 kilometers away. And um, so we, we were watching uh, one of the series on Netflix and that was fun. We were texting back and forth uh, as we uh, watched the episodes at the same time. And I took be out for a long walk today. Today the weather was glorious here. Um, we 
went to the field that's uh, maintained by, well, it's owned by and maintained by the National Capital Commission, so it's federal land. And um, they allowed dogs there. And uh, Pippi went hunting mice for, oh, I'd say a good hour. She had such a good time. And it's always fun for me to watch her. I really get a lot of enjoyment watching her have fun. Uh, it's almost like when my daughter was little, I would watch her playing and it was just so great to see her having fun. The best sound I think I've ever heard in my life is my daughter laughing uh, with her whole body and her whole consciousness just laughing because she's having such a good time. And that's one of those things that, you know, kids do that. And, uh, and sometimes if you don't appreciate that moment, it's gone and they're so self-conscious um, anyway, uh, I'll never forget, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so that was good. So I might actually put in a few minutes, just a couple of minutes, of uh, the walk I took with Pippi today, just because it's kind of funny. Uh, and you'll hear me talking about her, and yesterday I was talking about how she uh, goes hunting for mice. She never catches them, but, um, well, in the springtime she catches them sometimes, but no other time of year. Uh, but she will hunt them with more tenacity than I've seen from almost any other form of life uh, for any other thing. Boy, she enjoys doing that. So anyway, I'll add a few minutes of that in at the end. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, the weather was beautiful. We've had rain and it's been cold. Uh, it was minus. It was below zero for a while, and um, last week, and uh, zero Celsius. Um, and so today it was three degrees Celsius or four degrees Celsius when we were out on our walk. And, oh geez, did I place that in the wrong place? Oh, that's good. Um, and it was dry. It was really rainy last week and yesterday. Um, but today it was super dry and all of the, the pools of water in the field had dried up. And the grass wasn't wet anymore, and uh, and so it was just a perfect day to let Pippi uh, hunt. Um, I always keep her on a long leash because she does not come when called, and um, I'm afraid that if she sees a squirrel, she will follow it out into the street, and she pays attention to nothing when there's something to chase, um, like. She's just completely unconscious. I saw her run into a parked car one time, like just bang, plant herself into this parked car when she was on a leash and um, and we were just walking along a, uh, a road that didn't have a sidewalk and moved into the middle of the road where the, the car was parked at, at the curb. And she she saw a squirrel, she tore off after the squirrel and completely missed seeing this parked car that was that got somehow between her and the squirrel or I don't know what. Um, that was back in the spring, I, I don't remember exactly, but it was pretty funny, let me tell you. Anyway, so there you go. Um, yeah, what else? So I had Halloween excesses. Oh, I've got my little trash container here. So when I get a drill that's uh, messed up or, you know, just the garbage that sometimes comes with the three tens, I, uh, I just put it there and then I have a trash container in the um, bead storage kit 
that uh, that I keep them all in and I keep them there for each project and then I have uh, an old vitamin bottle that um, that I put them in. I don't know why. I think because Ella one time says that she stores all of her or she keeps all of her garbage, um, all of her trash drills. I I thought why not? I got all these prescription not prescription bottles but uh, vitamin bottles, and uh, why not keep them um, and just see how much trash I collect after you know whatever a few months or a year or whatever. Um, I might stop doing that, but I find it also keeps like storing them in something like that even if I just throw it away when it's full also keeps that trash from getting onto the floor and uh, underfoot and so forth so anyway Ella's a pretty smart lady she is anyway um, and funny oh my god I was watching a video today of hers and she was um, talking about traveling to see her daughter and packing and she was talking about the suitcase uh, anyway there's a story about a suitcase and why she doesn't want to take big suitcases when she travels it was hilarious um, it was hilarious that woman has such a great sense of humor anyway um, yeah so there you go that was that. All right, I'm kind of getting not through all of the E's, but there, there are fewer E's in the checkerboard now. So now it's all in there. There we go. Um, and I like the checkerboard to be complete completely consistent all the way along. I don't like to start and stop a checkerboard. Sometimes I do because I just get mixed up. But um, but generally speaking, I like to, to keep it uh, a pure checkerboard as much as possible. So that's what, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Oops. Okay. I hope the magnifying glass is not messing up your view of what I'm doing. Okay, I can see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. You can see. You can see what I'm doing too this way. All right. Um, yeah. So it was a great day today. Um, it doesn't take much to make for a great day. I think it's all in your attitude, you know. Um, I got to talk to my little sister on texting, got a call from my dad, got a call from my mom too, that doesn't happen too often. Um, in fact, I got two calls from my mom, both rather comical. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so... Everybody in my family. Oh, the only person I didn't hear from in my family. Well, I heard. I didn't hear from my s big sister. Um, but uh, but we just talked a couple of days ago. So um, only person I haven't heard from is my brother. But I have to assume that he's doing okay. Uh, I'm sure I would have heard from my sister-in-law if he wasn't. Um, yeah, so, so that's good. I'm, I'm glad that my family's doing well. Texted with my daughter. I didn't, uh, didn't talk to her. Um, but I'm sure we will talk. She's busy today. She's got some friends coming over, I think, to play Dungeons and Dragons. And she gets a lot of kick out of that. And I got a kick out of hearing the recap after their games so um, anyway it's uh, it's a thing it's a thing and I think I'm approaching the end of the area that can be easily checkerboarded okay 
So now I'm going to switch to the euros. Okay, I need more euros. And that is six, six, six. Ooh, I'm down to my last 600, 666s. All right. Well, that's too bad because it's a pretty color. I still have thousands and thousands of 310s, so that's not great. But oh well, it is what it is. Okay. So let's continue on here. back let's see can you see can you see oh uh, there's a glare um, sorry I'm trying to get it so that there's not a glare and it might be no it doesn't oh I no I don't know I, I don't think I can get rid of the glare and since I need to be able to see even more than you, uh, it's just gonna, you're just gonna have to suffer with the glare, unfortunately. I'll try and make it as, okay. Try and make it as good as possible for you. No, that's no good for me. Okay. All right, well, I'm sorry if this isn't working out for you very well. Oh, I missed a bunch of E's there. Okay. I'll come back and do those. No, just go there. All right, let me do them. Whoops. I dropped some euros. Okay, where were those E's? Oh, yeah, there they are. I don't know how I missed all these. That's another thing I like about working with two colors at a time, or three colors at a time. Um, you see what you missed easily, so you're not having to go back and open up a container of drills and pour some out. Uh, you just, there they are, right there, ready to go. Okay. Wow, I missed quite a few. That's okay. As one of my favorite bosses used to say, if nobody dies, it's a good day, Rose. He worked in law enforcement and national security. So there were days that were not so good for him. So I took that to heart. All right, I think that's it for the ease that I missed. Back to euros. Okay. Yeah, so. such a pleasing pattern, doesn't it? You're not seeing at all what I'm seeing. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Eh, maybe not so bad. I don't know. If I can figure out a way to do this, that works out better for you, that also works for me, I will implement that mean, that manner of doing it. But that is not going to happen tonight, my friends. Not tonight. Maybe I need a bigger magnifying glass. That might work. 
and I'd hold it closer to me so it's completely out of your field of view, except that then it doesn't work for my eyes. So, so it's this. Oh, and I was, I promised that I would show you how I uh, remove excess uh, adhesive uh, at the edges of the canvas. And there's a little bit here, about a quarter of an inch. So I will do that in a moment. And I can't remember if I said this already, but this back brace that I, or not back brace, it's not a back brace, it's a posture support. Um, and it's just sort of this stretchy thing with Velcro um, that you can wear either over your clothes or under your clothes. I always wear it over because what the heck. And uh, I live alone, so it's not like anybody's looking at me funny. Um, anyway, uh, it's, it's really helpful to me. And I will uh, post a link to it in the description for this video so that you can... Look it up if it's something that uh, you think might help you for any reason. Okay. All right, there we go. This is going along well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna show you now cutting the canvas. Uh, not the canvas, but cutting the glue off here. All right, so I get my X-Acto knife. And I have my straight edge, but I don't actually need the straight edge, I don't think, because I got this um, hotel key, key card. So I just, I lay it along here, like that. And, oops, very lightly score the canvas. I'm not sure if that was enough, actually. And then, I just I'll pull this up here. Oh, no, I didn't score it far enough. <laughs> I was just about to pull it off the entire, off the drilling area. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So there we go. I don't know how well you can see that. But essentially, this is double-sided tape that they use. And then I cut it off. And oh, again, I'm not sure you can really see that. But that is the bit of tape that... Uh, or the bit of glue that was there. And now I have no residue, nothing. It's, it's a clean piece of canvas. No washi tape needed. All right, so that's that. Um, and just for shits and giggles, I'll show you um, how I drill the where is my regular? There, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So um, I just use the regular drill pen for filling in the checkerboard. So I'll start that down here. Uh, no, um, that's zero. I need ease down there. Just I need some more ease, but this will do for now. I'm just going to do a few, and then we'll call this video quits for tonight. Except I do have um, that special uh, 
short clip of Vidi of uh, Pippi in the field that I'll I'll tag on to the end of it. Okay, so there's oh, I got to use the magnifying glass again because the e's and the euros are all mixed in together here, like confetti, and I don't want to place the wrong color. So here, oh, sh I'm not using the drill pen. I'm just so used to not using the drill pen. Okay. So there you go. So this, this goes quickly, it goes easily. That's the other thing I don't like about the drill pen. I know a lot of people, um, you know, they make sure their drills are perfectly aligned in the tray. Um, the nice thing about using the tweezers is it doesn't matter if the drills are perfectly straight because you just pick them up and you place them the way you want. Whereas with the drill pen, it, it's more important because if you're not paying attention exactly to um, how the drill's oriented, it's not going to fit properly where you want it to be. All right, that's pretty straight. Yeah, that's pretty straight there. You want the edges to be nice and straight. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Uh, there's a little bit more up here that I, oh, that I missed the first time around. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Nothing's the end of the world until there's actually an end of the world, which hopefully will not be by 2050 like the climate change scientists are saying, but, uh, and I know I'm exaggerating, but that's, that is a bit of a worry. Okay, I got some hair. I have, when you have three pets, um, and I got a little tiny bit of adhesive here that I want to get off because that's going to annoy me. All right. All right, I don't want to, I don't want to scratch up the canvas. There, done, good, excellent. Okay, so I'll just drill a little bit more here. And, and I think we will call it quits. I want to catch up on my news for the day. Today I didn't listen to the news at all. I was listening to CBC Radio uh, this morning, which is, uh, I usually listen all day, and then switch over to television news. Um, I never used to watch the news before. Now I'm completely hooked on the news. Um, I switch over to television news for the evening, and then I watch some Netflix or YouTube um, starting around 11 p.m. And, you know, however long I'm up, I am watching Netflix or lately it's been watching um, diamond painting videos on YouTube. So, um, and I do that while I'm, while I'm drilling. Uh, and it's, I just find it kind of neat and I keep the iPad right in front of me pretty much so that I can uh, look up to see whatever it is they're talking about and then look back to, to my work without uh, having to turn my head too much. Anyway, it's working for me. It's, uh, it's not the most exciting life, but oh my goodness, it's a good life. I have zero complaints about my life. If it was any more perfect, it would be illegal. Okay, all right. I think you guys have seen enough. Um, I'm not completely inept with the pen, as it turns out, but I still think I get a, a better line when I use the tweezers. Anyway. So this is Pippi, 
out in the field hunting for mice. She will happily do this for hours if I let her. But I usually stop her after an hour or an hour and a half. She's got to stick her nose into every one of the mouse burrows. Sorry for the shaky camera. waiting for her to find a, a, a burrow that's got, oh there she goes, there she goes. She's found something interesting. Sometimes she gets so excited her tail wags side to side and up and down and practically around in a circle like a, a wind turbine. Anyway, that's enough. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I meant when I said that she would hunt mice in the field.